Hey everybody, we are here again in beautiful Goshen Pass in Rockbridge County, Virginia. We're cutting across through a mountain on our way back to Lexington. And uh, you know, many people that I've talked to over the years have told me that, Lynn, you know, I just don't know that I believe there is a God. With all the pain and suffering and evil in the world today. And yet there's something inside all of us that just tells us that there is a God. And even many of those people that I talked to, I talked to a guy this morning, said, I didn't used to believe in God. He said, but I do believe, I do believe there is a God. He said, I just want to know the truth. And so I told him about Jesus, and I told him how that God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son to die on a cross for his sins. I told him about it, he, he said, I won't think on that a while. He wasn't too ready to, to make any kind of commitment or anything. And I thought of the scripture of the man who, Jesus had said, if you only believe. And the man said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Let's read that verse of scripture from Mark, chapter nine, verse 24. Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. And I would say for, for Christians and, and non-Christians alike, there's a point you come to where you can just say that, you know, I, I know there's something more. You can't look at this beautiful vista. You can't look at this the, what God has created and not know somewhere deep down that there's a God and plus you were created by God with a space inside of you that only he can fill and so for, for the unbeliever or for the saint sometimes we're in the midst of the struggles of life we're, in, we're having difficulties we've studied the Bible all our life we've read the Word of God we've tried to live by the Word of God we, we know we believe Lord, help our unbelief in those moments when it seems tough to believe. And when we're under the gun, sometimes it's very hard to keep your faith up at top notch, you know. But Lord, help our unbelief. Faith is the answer. And the Bible says faith is the victory that overcomes the world. And so whatever that means to you, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you know, God has deposited faith within your heart. If you would just look up and say, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. And I receive Jesus Christ today. And go from there. You, you need a starting point, And that starting point is giving your heart to Jesus Christ. And, and then for, for those of us who are Christians and we might be struggling right now with whatever. It doesn't matter. All struggle is real. Just because maybe there's nothing really bad going on in your life doesn't mean that the things you do struggle with aren't very important and very real to you. And so just go to the starting point once again, Lord Jesus, I believe, help my unbelief. Help me to believe your word. Help me to put your word first place in my life, even when my eyes don't see it, and even when my heart at times can't feel it, and even when I don't have anything or anyone around me to hold me up. The word of God is the rock that we can stand upon and we cry out to God. I talked about that earlier today. We just cry out to God in, in a moment of unbelief and just say, Lord, I believe, help me with my unbelief. And you'll be surprised that the Lord will come, the Holy Spirit will come, and he will ignite faith in your heart. But you need to stay in the word of God and you need to believe the word of God even when it doesn't, you can't possibly understand how it could be so for you you, you know, I mean, most Christians would tell you they believe the Bible's true. And they'd say, oh yeah, I believe the Bible's true. I, I'm a Christian. I, I serve Jesus. I love Jesus. But where the problem comes in, will this happen for me? And there are people who, who think they're not worthy enough. They think that God doesn't care as much about them as he does maybe somebody else, whatever the case might be. That's all foolishness, folks. God is no respecter of persons. You need to believe the word and ask the Lord to help you believe the word for whatever you're going through in life today. God has a miracle with your name on it. He has the answer with your name on it and he cares about everything you're struggling with. And so you can win in life and have victory because of the blood of Jesus. I just wanted to say uh, that as kind of an encouragement to you today as we're out just climbing around in these mountains and, and just enjoying God's day here for us. The older I get and the further I go, 
every day that I get to enjoy with my wife and we get to hang out together and look at places like this, man, it's just the most important day is right now. The most important day is today. And I want to encourage you. I, I want to be a blessing to you. I don't, I don't want to condemn people. I preach the truth and sometimes I take a hard stand on some of the issues. And we need to do that. We need more preachers that'll do that today. But I also want to be an encouragement to you. I want to let you know that you matter. I want to let you know that God cares about you and that he loves you just as much as he loves the big preacher in the, in the big church or whatever the case might be. He is no respecter of persons and he cares about your problems and disappointments and hurts. And God has an answer for you and it's in the word. And man, you gotta get in the word and stay in the word and God will come through for you. You might have to fight the good fight of faith. That, hey, that's normal. Somebody says, well, everything's so hard for me. Everything, I gotta fight, fight, fight. That is normal. That is normal Christian daily life because we are in a world that is opposed to us. But God is for us. And if God be for us, who can be against us? We will see the promises come to pass in our life. So I hope I've encouraged somebody today. I'm gonna to have Angie kind of do her thing with her camera work here before we go. But this is evangelist Len Paxton encouraging you to be the best you that God made you to be. And you do that by, first of all, receiving Jesus Christ. And secondly, get in the Word, stay in the Word, stand on the Word, believe God, and in that moment when it might be hard to believe, just cry out, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Destroy my unbelief. I want to believe, and I want to go forward in faith. And God will answer that prayer, and He will make a champion out of you for the times that we're living in. From Goshen Pass, this is Brother Paxton saying, go with God, and he will go with you. Bless you.